Hello YouTube, this video is going to be on my super worm breeding project. Uh, I decided to breed super worms because um, that guy right there eats them. So I'm already breeding uh, mealworms for the geckos. So I figured I might as well breed almost all of my feeder insects and go for super worms. And also I was having a uh, uh, success with uh, breeding mealworms, so I figured the next step would be trying to breed superworms, which are supposed to be a little more difficult, so see how that turns out. Um, for my setup, this is the feeder superworms right there, as you can see, and these are the ones that get fed to this guy on a daily basis, or a bi-daily basis, and that's where they go, but over here, in the shoebox here is the ones that I'm trying to get to pupate. Can't really see that well. And I know everybody is going to say five is not enough to start a colony. Well, this is just kind of an experiment to see if I can even get them to pupate. So, but it clearly looks like they are because I got two that have started to curl up, which from what I've read means that they're going to turn into pupa within a week. So. That should be good, and then, so if I can get these to turn into beetles, then I'm going to try and get a, uh, a bunch more of those little cups and uh, do it on a larger scale, so I can produce more superworms. And so that's pretty much what's going on with that, and so I guess I'll make another video of my superworm breeding project when, the, when they turn into pupa, which hopefully should be within the next week. So stay tuned for that, and bye.